Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Sam here. Welcome to another video on Sam's AWS Learning Series. So today's uh, you know uh, topic of discussion it's an interesting one, guys. We are going to start with our very first lab session, and uh, as always, we would like to go ahead with the fundamentals. And uh, here we will be uh, you know uh, helping you with how to create an AWS account. So yeah, let's uh, uh, you know talk about that. We will be creating a free tier account which will come with 12 months of free access and uh, you know on the same note let me tell you something else uh, not everything um, on aws platform is free not uh, all the service offerings from aws are free but uh, we are going to you know uh, give you a hint uh, when we will be using the paid services so in that way you can you can uh, you know stay alert and uh, save some money and this is essential to perform hands on i mean this account creation so the account which we are going to create now i'll be you know using it uh, to perform you know further lab sessions and uh, it will be you know featuring on all our uh, subsequent videos and this is the url uh, where you want to go to create or uh, to sign up uh, for aws account i'm going to drop this url in the description below so fire up your browser and search for aws account sign up and the very first result, the page result from AWS Amazon site, that's the right one. Hit on that URL. It's going to take you to this page. And you need to uh, click on a sign up button over here. And we will be, you know, seeing a new page which will prompt you for your uh, email address. If you are ready with it, um, you know, provide your email address over here and click on i am a new user so this is the first time you guys are you know going to uh, what you call create an account on aws and this is how you will be you know doing it and click on you know sign in uh, using our secure server button over here you need to provide your uh, name over here so i'm gonna do it and uh, the email address and provide it again and uh, you know type in your uh, password so here I am, let's, let's review the things which I've provided. I'll have to select between company account and personal account. In my case, it's a personal account. So I'll have to select this radio button and then I'll have to provide my full name. Then I'll have to select the country from the drop down. I'll have to provide my address and then I'll have to type in the city and same is applicable here. You'll have to provide the state uh, uh, here. You will have to type in your uh, pin code the region which you are uh, uh, residing you will have to provide the pin code of that and then you will have to provide the phone number over here and uh, there is a you know security check you will have to enter this uh, captcha image over here um, the characters which you are you know seeing on the captcha you will have to enter it here and another important thing is um, uh, you will have to you know uh, agree to the terms and conditions of uh, aws by clicking on this uh, tick box so once we are ready, uh, click on this uh, create account and continue button. So once you are through that, uh, the next page, you will have to provide the payment informations and uh, this will be, the, uh, you know, card details or, of your uh, account and uh, the, you know, amount uh, will be debited from this particular account. Uh, once you are, uh, you know, using Amazon's uh, uh, paid services or uh, if you cross the you know free tire limitation then uh, from this account the money will be you know debited so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, create uh, you know give my details over here and then uh, there is a you know uh, small box which is asking for your pan card information uh, feel free to you know uh, fill it in oh yeah there is one more item which i wanted to you know give you guys a heads up it, it's about uh you know um this particular thing as soon as you enter your uh, uh, card related details and uh, once you authenticate uh, amazon to uh, you know validate these items amazon is gonna debit uh, two rupees from your account and uh, this is part of their uh, account validation program and uh, this two rupees will be you know um, refunded back to your account within three to five business days as well and once you are done with all the things i mean once you are uh, done with filling up your card details uh, go ahead and you know click on verify card and uh, continue so yeah, two rupees got debited from my account and uh, here I am on the next page and it's called as identity verification. Here uh, you will have to, you know, provide the captcha again and uh, you will have to type in your phone number. What Amazon is going to do is uh, they'll be, you know, calling you. 
you will have to you know uh, validate the call i'm gonna you know type my uh, mobile number and i'm gonna you know uh, close this uh, step so once you are done with it um, uh, what amazon gonna do is uh, aws will be you know providing a pin number over here in step number two and they will be you know calling to the mobile number which you have provided in the earlier step and they will be asking you to you know type in the pin number which is which is you know visible over here so once you are done with it you will be you know seeing this and it will state that you know identity verification is complete what i'm gonna do next is you know click on continue to select the support plan so uh, as i said we will be you know uh, going with free tier account and uh, these are the options we have basic option uh, it's it's free for you know 12 months and um, we will have access to you know aws community forums and uh, you have developer plan and it's going to cost you somewhere around 29 dollars per month and again it's a scale based usage uh, so um, scale based on the usage the more you use you will have to you know pay more and then the business this is for the enterprise uh, or companies and it will come with you know uh, what you call added benefits like 24 bar 7 uh, support uh, and things like that and it will it will cost you over hundred dollars per month and again this is also uh, same as you know scales based on the usage if you guys are you know uh, using a huge uh, infrastructure and almost uh, you know all the aws services it's highly likely that uh, this amount is uh, it's gonna go up so for now i'm gonna stick with a basic account and i'll have to click on the continue button So once it is done, I'm going to see this page which says uh, registration is, you know, uh, registration confirmation and I'm, you know, supposed to click on sign in to console button and I'll have to, you know, provide the credentials again. So here I am uh, on the AWS uh, sign in page, login page. I'll have to provide the email address and uh, the password which I've uh, used uh, during the registration fees. So I'm going to select I'm a retaining user and I'll have to provide the password. I'm going to click on uh, keep me signed in and I'll have to click on sign in uh, button. So this is it. Uh, so we have created an account on free tire account on AWS and this is called as the AWS console. So voila, that's it guys. So we are going to, you know, wrap up uh, the video for now. So that, that's all for uh, now guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, this was the very first lab session and this is how you will be you know creating an AWS uh, free tire account and as I said this will be you know free for 12 months and that's all I have for now guys, thanks a lot for watching the video, I'll see you in the next one.